So years ago, we built this chicken coop. It still looks amazing. We actually brought it over to our newly built house a few years back, and we fenced in a run so that the chickens wouldn't be able to roam and crap all over the place and dig up our mulch. Now, the fencing that we used for the run was a cheap landscaping fence and some T-posts that are simply hammered into the ground. The problem with this is it looks like crap now, and today in this video, we're gonna give it a fresh new update. All right, first things first, we've gotta round up these chickens and get them in the coop so that we can work on this fenced area. One problem that you can see right away is there's no way to get into the coop except for climbing over this fence. Now the only way that I agreed to putting this fence in is if we could get it done quickly and easily. Luckily, Simpson Strong Tie makes these easy spikes which make setting posts like this very straightforward. You simply put this spike in the ground where you want your post, make sure it's nice and level on the way down, and you hammer it in place. Then you can secure your post to the top of this with a few screws and you're on your way. After getting the spikes installed in the ground, we actually started with the ends of the fence or where it would be. Sorry, the chickens are a little loud right now. They're ready to get out. But we put those spikes in the ends where we wanted them to be, making sure that they were level all the way down. And then we took a string line from one side of the fence to the other, or one end of the fence to the other. That way we could position the rest of our posts exactly where we wanted them to go, spacing them out properly and making sure that they were aligned with the fence so everything was nice and straight. Once we got our posts in, we were able to secure them in place and then cut them to the appropriate height. Now we did so by using a string as well to mark level, fine level, and then extend that line out to the end of our fence, marking all of those posts and then cutting them down to the appropriate height. With the post all installed, now we can cut the stretchers for the bottom and the top of the fence. We'll measure between the posts and then we'll cut those and we'll drill pocket holes in the ends of each one of those two by fours using the Craig XL pocket hole jig. This is gonna give us a beefier screw and make sure that we get that secure joint that we're looking for. After those stretchers are installed on the top and the bottom, then we can follow up with a five quarter inch deck board on top of that to really cap the top and bring it all together. With the structure of the fence all assembled and in place, now we can go ahead and apply the stain to this. Now we're gonna be using a solid color stain in the color black just to match the chicken coop. And that is going to really kind of help this fence disappear in the wood line. So I went ahead and cut down the frame for the door, or gate rather. This is going to be, this is constructed out of two by fours, and we went ahead and stained that. And now we're gonna be using the Simpson Strong Tie Rigid Tie Connectors. These are 90 degree connectors, and they're in their outdoor accent line, which means that they're black, which is going to be perfect for this door. We're gonna fasten four of those, one to each corner, and then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing. Once we get all that done, that's gonna keep that gate from sagging over time. We're gonna add some two by twos on the inside and that's gonna give us a place to mount that mesh too, that wire mesh. Now 
Now, one thing I did forget was before the wire mesh goes on, we need to cut and install these two by twos. We opted to go ahead and measure, cut those and stain them in outside before we installed them and then followed up with a wire mesh. Now also over here, we added a privacy fence. Now this is going to hide our 55 gallon drum, which is what we use to water the chickens. This stays full and it waters them for a very, very long time. The nipples are on the side of it, about six inches up off the bottom. So all the sediment falls to the bottom, but it is a big blue barrel. So we wanted to hide that and I think it looks great. Then we can follow up with the four by or two by four wire mesh that is going to be stapled to the inside of this fence, making sure that those chickens can't get out. So the new chicken fence is done. It looks amazing and this design could easily be used for a garden fence, say if you needed to keep deer out of your garden. However, with the gate, the addition of the gate, we can now get in and out of it easily. It's also not an eyesore and it's a little bit more protective with the galvanized wire mesh. If you guys like videos like this and you wanna to continue to see them, make sure you hit that subscribe link right there. And until next time, be safe and happy building.